Hello everybody, there has been a lot of uh, queries on power measurements of CMOS circuits in LT Spice. I had earlier uh, uploaded a video on how to do CMOS circuit simulation in LT Spice. So you can consider this as an, an uh, extension of that video. So uh, before we uh, I demonstrate to you how to measure power, let's just uh, recap about the various uh, power components of a CMOS circuit. Okay, the total power can be and uh, divided into two uh, can be classified into two one is known as the static power okay static power is nothing but and there is no uh, in vari variation in the input the input is static there is no change okay dynamic power is that power when the input is changing there is a transient switching in the uh, input waveform okay so that is known as the dynamic power and the dynamic power again classified into two short circuit power and switching power we'll just spend one minute each and all, all of these uh, no, small uh, all of these power issues uh, so that uh, we know how to measure it accurately okay so we know what what is static power okay static power is that power when there is no in change in the input okay input is stable so suppose v in is zero in that case the n mouse is supposed to be switched off and p mouse is supposed to be switched on and you have the output node charged at vdd okay so since p mouse uh, n mouse is switched off ideally there should not be any current flowing from vdd to ground but that doesn't happen because these are all na, na physical devices which have a certain amount of leakage currents so the n mouse although it is switched off there will be some leakage current similarly when so the, you can see this this is the current versus v in and v out so v in is zero here and v out is one this is the actual uh, plot simulated in cadence for 180 nanometer technology so when v, v out is um, uh, high and v in is zero you will find there is a leakage current which is around 15 pico amperes similarly when v in is high and v out is uh, zero right and in that case also there is some leakage current and this leakage current is con is because of the leakage current from the pmos the pmos is supposed to be off in that condition but still there will be some so these are the two uh, static currents so if you multiply it with vdd you get the static power okay and in transient when the input is going from zero to high so there will be an uh, spike the current because both the transistors will be on so th this is known as the short circuit current so you see it can go up to you know, uh, one micro ampere for, for this particular circuit okay so this is known as the short circuit current okay but the actual short circuit currents will be much lesser than this uh, because uh, this is a dc simulation right sweeping the v in and v out so this is the maximum value the current the uh, currents can uh, achieve but in an actual transient waveforms the current may not go this high right okay so let, uh, short circuit current will not go that high so this is about the short circuit current you see the v in is increasing here on the x-axis you have v in right so as the v in is uh, uh, increasing when it reaches uh, x-axis is the time sorry and 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 v in is on the y-axis so when v in reaches vtn that is the threshold voltage of the n mos the n mos is switched on whereas the p mos is also switched on so so you have the currents increasing so the current will keep increasing till the midpoint and then when you as you reach the closer to the threshold voltage of the p mos right so when the uh, v in reaches vdd plus vtp okay the p mos gets uh, uh, switched off so and then the current again becomes a uh, zero so in in this phase where v in is between vtn and vdd plus vtp okay vtp will be a negative uh, because it's a p mos so in in this phase you will find the current is increasing and so this is known as the uh, short circuit current okay so this is also uh, this so this power will be known as a short circuit power okay now uh, if you see uh, like you know, this is again a repetition of the earlier slide i told this is the short circuit current but this does not indicate the actual currents during switching it will be much lesser so i will explain that in the next slide why it is going to be much lesser okay so now i have connected a uh, c load onto this uh, uh, output okay now uh, v in is increasing here from 0 to 1 here okay so uh, if if at all there is no cl here right the v out will you know, follow uh, v in at the same rate at the same at the same rate as v in is increasing v out will fall and then you will have a large you know, static uh, large short circuit current the, that is shown as that black dotted lines here the, it will be large but the moment i 
uh, connected load capacitance then it will be this blue dotted blue dotted line okay v out will not fall and you know, as quickly as it would have fallen if there were no load so now the v out is slowly discharging because you put a load capacitance obviously it will discharge slowly now uh, consider uh, a situation where till the v in reaches v vdd plus vtp this remains at vdd itself okay there will be no short circuit current at all because although in this in the earlier phase both will be on but there will be no vds across the pmos if there is no vds across pmos even though pmos is on there won't be any you know, uh, uh, current so the short circuit current drastically decreases the moment you press you um, connect a cl what cl actually does is it delays the of v out so uh, if v out falls slowly then there will be no vds so the input has got adequate time sufficient time to reach uh, vdd minus vtp and it will get switched off before this vds increases so that is how by uh, so you can uh, make out that a short circuit current is not something which remains very very you know fixed it depends from circuit to circuit depending on the load capacitance what you Uh, connect okay and the third most important uh, and the most significant uh, power in an cmos circuit will be the switching power now uh, consider a case where the input is going from zero to uh, where the input is going from high to low and the output is getting charged from zero to uh, high voltage to v out so what happens is there is a node capacitance here that capacitance is actually sum of many and you know, a few other you know, elementary capacitances one is drain capacitance of this n mos and p mos again there will be inter interconnect capacitance and also there will be an captive load from the gate of the uh, from the gate capacitance okay of the next stage okay it is it is going to drive some gate right so that gate capacitance also comes as a load for this inverter so this is a net capacitive load cl so now it it has to get charged to vdd so if you have, what is the energy stored in a capacitor okay is zero if you integrate the voltage and charge okay charge you will get the energy right charge is cvl dvc excuse me so if you integrate this zero to vdd so you will find the net energy stored in a capacitor is half vdd square into cl whereas if you try to find out what is the power which is consumed from vdd right so it is vdd 0 to an integrate 0 to t i dt okay you will get the and the current net current which has flown is and will be depending on the charge which is accumulated in the uh, final charge which is accumulated in the capacitor so if you do that you will get vdd square cl now if you see this is the energy which is an in an energy which is accumulated in the capacitor this is the charge which is taken from the power source so you will find half vdd square is missing where did that half vdd square cl go okay that gets dissipated as a heat in pmos so in the charging if this aspect has to be very very clear so whenever the output is going from zero to high half vdd square energy will be stored in the capacitor vdd square cl will be taken from the uh, source and half vdd square cl will be dissipated as a uh, heat in the pmos similarly when the input is going again from high to low this this will uh, from low to high this node capacitance whatever was the charge accumulated here that will get dissipated as heat in nmos uh, so energy dissipated in during discharging will be half vdd square here so whatever is the charge which was accumulated here that will get discharged like this okay and and when it is getting discharged there is no power being taken from vdd okay so this is how now if you see if you add up the uh, power which is dissipated in pmos and what is uh, there in nmos it will come to power which is consumed from the power supply okay but what happens is during charging half vdd square gets dissipated as heat here and half vdd square cl half vdd square cl gets dissipated as heat here half vdd square cl gets charged here and during discharge that half vdd square gets dissipated as an uh, in nmos so once these definitions are clear now i will demonstrate you how to do the how to find out these powers in lt space okay uh, this is the uh, same inverter which i introduced you to in my last video so we'll run a simulation and we are going to run a uh, dc simulation wherein we are going to increase the v in from 0 to 1.8 volts so this is an dc uh, sweep okay once we do the dc sweep okay 
so let me uh, plot uh, v out right and the uh, current which is going into the circuit right so this was the current which we saw there also so uh, this is v out and this is the current now uh, uh, to find out the uh, uh, power right so we can put two cursors here right and move one of the cursors here so you you will find we are going to put it close to zero here and this we are going to put close there so these are the uh, static currents right so if you multiply it with vdd so this is 62 pico ampere for one and 29 pico amp for the other one okay so uh, you can you can put a uh, zero here and see okay so you can further move it and and get it 53 pico ampere there and you can put move this further to 1.8 and you get 21 so if you multiply with these currents right so uh, static uh, this is the static power when the output circuit is uh, uh, at the, uh, when the output voltage is zero this is the static power when the output voltage is uh, 1.8 volt and then uh, no when the, out, the when the input is 1.8 volts the other way around so you have these two currents so if you multiply it with the uh, corresponding voltage so you will get the static powers which the circuit will dissipate okay so that is how we find out what is the uh, static power okay now we will see the uh, other power okay now let's see how to you know, calculate the total power and the com power consumed by pmos and nmos you know, uh, separately so we'll first target the switching uh, like uh, in an i'm going to give a transient pulse here so when i'm doing a transient uh, switch over here right there will be short circuit current as well as there will be switching so the, whatever power now we are going to talk is uh, it will be dominated by the uh, we cannot distinguish these two powers although i'll i'll show you some method which roughly distinguish between these two powers but here i am going to talk about the switching power okay now we are concentrating on the switching power so let me uh, run this simulation okay now i am going to uh, plot uh, v in and i am going to plot uh, v out so this is v in and this is v out okay you will find because of the load capacitance the v out is slightly there is a propagation delay here okay so v in is not of a great interest to us so let, let's just uh, uh, cut that okay now i have to uh, power, uh, uh, also plot the uh, powers right so so to plot the powers i press alt okay so you see this is the total power which is taken from the power source i click there this is the total power okay so this is the uh, icon for the power you have to place over the component this is the power which is from the pmos and this is the power from the nmos okay now i go here okay let me add some pins here or add plot pin add plot pin then add plot pane and let me first uh, take this uh, v out out there right and then let me pull uh, this out here and let me pull the pmos out, uh, out here right so these are the uh, various uh, uh, power plots now uh, if you see the power uh, from the source uh, from the source out here the last one is from the vdd right it is negative okay why is it negative because we are taking the power from so that's why it's negative the it is it is the source power source it is going to provide uh, power to the source it is not dissipating any power so that is why you will find negative so when the output is going from zero to high the power is being taken from the source and it is being provided to the uh, PMOS. So, this is the PMOS. So, the PMOS also there is a surge in power. NMOS during that charging phase has it has got nothing to do. The output is being charged by PMOS. So, there is no power in the uh, NMOS. So, there is only uh, PMOS power. So, this power is coming to the PMOS here. But, okay. But, we know this power is also being used to charge the capacitor. Okay. So, if you take the average of this power, 
okay uh, it will be double the power of that of pmos okay because this power is supplying uh, the heat is getting dissipated in pmos as well as the capacitor is getting charged whereas when the output is going from high to low there is no power taken from the power source also in the pmos also there is no power consumption but in the nmos there is a dissipation of heat whatever was charge was stored in the capacitor gets dissipated as heat so that is why you find a uh, spike here so this is how we plot the various uh, uh, power of each of these components okay now if you have to find out the average values i press control and i press here so it is coming to average is coming to minus 16 micro volt approximately okay it indicates that it is providing power 16 micro now if i see for the pmos it is coming to 8 8.1 micro okay this is the power being dissipated in pmos as heat so if i see here it is again 8 so half vdd square this is vdd square cl uh, into uh, into the uh, frequency because it, we are uh, talking about power now so it, so the frequency component also is to be multiplied with that this is a uh, half and half vdd square clf half vdd square clf and this is going to be vdd so this is 16 this is 8 and this is it this is how we find out the uh, uh, switching power now short circuit power uh, this is not only switching there is short circuit also but since we have uh, connected a load we will assume that in this condition the short circuit uh, current is very negligible this is this this power is uh, mainly we can call it as uh, switching power okay now we will uh, try and do a small uh, trick and try to find out the short circuit current okay uh, here in this circuit uh, to find out the short circuit i decided to load and i am not going to sweep for a big i am going to just uh, make an, a small uh, sweep out here okay let me uh, run this and i am going to uh, plot the v in if you see uh, v in is going from high to low okay so when v in is going high to low what happens is okay v in, v in is going high to low what happens is the node is going to this node is going to be get charged to one okay so you will have some uh, drain capacitance so what is the capacitance here it is the drain capacitance of these two transistors so what will be the power which will be dissipated in pmos okay it will be the power dissipated in pmos will be because of the short circuit current as well as the switching current uh, switching power because of the drain capacitance but what will be the current in nmos it will be only the short circuit current right so if you take the difference of these two powers of uh, pmos and nmos we will get the short circuit current you understand there is no cl out here right there is a small uh, drain capacitance which is there because of the a drain capacitance of PMOS and drain capacitance of CMOS and I am giving a sweep of only uh, volt on a small voltage sleep where the input is going only from high to low and the output is going from zero to high so if now in this condition if you try to uh, plot the uh, power so I press alt right I plot the power here I plot the power here so uh, I get this so you can clearly uh, see Right, let me drag this V in there. Let me drop. See, if you see, uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, two powers. So, if you uh, between the NMOS and the PMOS, okay, this is the PMOS, this is the uh, NMOS. So, if you try to uh, compute the average, so you will find that it is uh, 34.59 uh, nanowatt, whereas if you do here, it is 5.73 nanowatt. So, that means around uh, 35 and this uh, uh, whatever 5 if you take the difference between these two power that is more or less uh, uh, you can say it is the short circuit uh, uh, power in this particular condition but like I said key, this short circuit current is again depending on the load so if you uh, put a load a big load here this short circuit current will reduce so you can say in a in in, in a, to some rough calculation you can say this will be somewhere the maximum short circuit uh, uh, current in the uh, circuit okay so uh, i hope this will be useful to you so many of you had mailed me to uh, demonstrate this aspect of power measurements i hope this serves your purpose and uh, it will help you in your research thanks a lot